three row midsize SUVs have become really, really popular and Mazda has brought us the CX-9. For 2022, there are some upgrades and some things that you definitely want to know and we're going to take it for a ride. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix. The 2022 Mazda CX-9 has some upgrades for 2022. Starting with every single vehicle in their lineup is all wheel drive. And there is a premium trim level, which is really nice. And it has some pretty impressive features to compete with the likes of the Kia Telluride and the Hyundai Palisade, as well as some other vehicles like the Honda Pilot. So this is a really, really popular segment and people want affordable three row transportation. There are some pluses and minuses to all vehicles, including the CX-9. Let's get started with the exterior of this vehicle. There really aren't any changes for this vehicle. You've got a nice looking vehicle that has done really well for Mazda. Standard is 19 inch wheels. Our test vehicle is riding on 20 inch alloy wheels. There is no improvement to the brakes or anything, but there is some upgrades to the suspension and we'll talk about that when we go to drive that in just a minute so you want to stay for that going further back on the higher trim levels there is now a manual shade for the second row and this is really great to keep the sunlight out especially if you've got little ones in back the simple and modern design of the mazda cx9 has really given it a lot of success and this vehicle is one of those ones that people go to because it is budget friendly in addition to having all those modern technologies that people want it offers a three-year 36 ,000 mile warranty and a five-year 60 ,000 mile powertrain warranty as you can see the vehicle looks pretty similar that it has in the past and we'll go inside now and talk about some of the technology and then we'll take it for a drive. Under the hood is a Skyactiv 2.5 liter turbocharged engine with 237 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. It is backed by a six-speed automatic transmission, which offers 23 miles to the gallon combined. All vehicles are all-wheel drive. There are some really nice usable features on the CX-9. On the left side, you've got your audio system, which is pretty normal, and of course, your phone system here. The right side is your cruise control and your distance, which is part of the safety features. In front of you, you've got two different stocks, including the plus and minus, which I kind of chuckle at because this is not going to be driven at, uh, at a racetrack or anything that has to do with performance, but you might use it for towing. By the way, the towing capacity is 3,500 pounds. There are real gauges in front of me, which I actually prefer because if you have a digital setup and something fails, you're not going to be able to read your information but everything's really easy to read. The only thing that's digital is right here, which is gonna be your fuel and your fuel economy on the left side of the speedometer. On the left side, you get your vent and then some of your additional controls, including the hatch, the around view camera, lane change departure, park assist, and if you wish to go off-roading. Inside this modern cabin is a nine inch screen, which is not touch screen. You have to use the dial. That's the way Mazda wants to do it. So you have to turn that dial to get to whether it be the navigation, which is part of the higher trim levels, your communication for your phone, your entertainment, which does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available. It is with the wire. In addition, you can go into those information settings and get whatever it is that you need for your vehicle, including the fuel efficiency monitor and the Sirius XM travel link and your vehicle status monitor, which has all this great information. Again, it's very simple. It's black and white. There's no color involved. The navigation screen is very basic. The rest of the screens are black and white, pretty simple. If you go to the audio screen and you put up your music, you do get the ability to see what station you're on as well as a album cover picture if you're listening to something that has it. You also have your climate control with sync buttons. It is a three-stage climate control, so there is also climate control in the back seat. This is wireless charging, which I think is nice if you like to use that. There is a regular shifter with park reverse neutral drive. I call that a Prindle. In addition, there is a sport button, which really only allows you to have higher RPMs. It's pretty simple. It's either on or it's off. Further back, you've got your controller that adjusts all the information in front of you the home screen music navigation and then over here you've got your favorites and on this side it's a go back button parking brake and your auto hold which so your vehicle doesn't roll at a traffic light a lot of people do like that and of course your volume control is right there the key fob is very basic but it does the trick and it has everything that you would need and that's one of your bose speakers which is part of the audio system the wood, by the way, in the door is pretty much a picture of wood, but there is a lot of soft touch materials in this vehicle, and I do appreciate that. 
One of the nice features is there is memory seats for the driver's side. The seating surfaces are really nice. Heated, ventilated, and they're pretty comfortable too. There's lumbar on the driver's side. Going into the center console, it is a split center console where you have additional charge ports and plenty of storage. The overhead console has a sunglass holder as well as the ability to open and close your roof, manual cover, but the power moonroof is a one-touch system. Pretty simple. Zero to 60 in the Mazda CX-9 is 7.6 seconds, which isn't bad. This is a good sized vehicle. You're not going to be racing it. And there we are. We're at 60. There is also a head-up display, which I do think is very helpful, and sign recognition. In addition, this vehicle gets 23 miles to the gallon combined. I was glad to see that the CX-9 runs on regular octane fuel because gasoline is just getting more expensive every day. And if you can run on the regular, you can probably find some bargains floating around. The acceleration is pretty good because of the 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. Even in the mid-range when you're doing 30 or 40 miles an hour, you can put your foot in it and it takes off. It's a bit loud when you put your foot in it all the way. But the whole idea of this vehicle is it's a family vehicle and it's got a lot of safety that is standard. And I think that's a big part of what people forget is a vehicle like this is really easy to drive. And the fact is it's extremely stable. And part of that is the all wheel drive handling that is standard on all CX-9s for 2022. The vehicle goes around corners very easily. It's easy to park and it has more of a tighter steering feel. So if you don't want a sloppy steering feel, you're going to love the CX-9. I think what they've done to improve some of the suspension and handling for this year has really given you a better feel for the roadway. And, and again, that's a personal choice what vehicle you like to drive. So of course, like any vehicle, test drive as many of them as you can. It's obviously best to avoid potholes, but this vehicle does a good job absorbing some of the undulations in the roadway and some of the wear and tear that we have here up in the Northeast. But around the country, there are potholes. Try not to hit them, but the fact is this vehicle does a really nice job, gives you a good stable feel. Considering the size of the vehicle, it's pretty impressive. And that's one of the things that the CX-9 offers is good performance and handling, and of course, safety. The nice thing about some of these safety features, including lane change departure, is it explains it on the right side of your center screen. Now, a lot of vehicles are starting to do this, but it's good because people don't necessarily understand lane departure warning or the distance control. Now, in addition to that, you have an active safety. This includes the lane keeping assist, which is vector control, which is standard on this vehicle. That's part of the handling. Your collision avoidance, which is your forward collision warning. And that allows you to set the alert, what works for you and a very good thing to have. And of course you get your view monitor as well. And this helps you be safer on the road, including those dynamic guidelines. When you're on the road, you wanna make sure to stay within your lane. Now, a lot of this, including cross traffic alert is standard on all CX-9s, and that is a major plus for this vehicle. There are some blind spots on this vehicle, but that's the design of the CX-9, and you can have 100% perfect vision, which is why that around view camera is extremely helpful. Now, when it comes to seating, there is lumbar on both sides. Thank you very much, Mazda, for listening to you, because a lot of people have been complaining that the driver's side gets all the goodies and the passenger side doesn't. And in this case, Mazda has made both front seats seats very comfortable they're very supportive and there is lumbar and that is appreciated both front seats are heated and ventilated and the steering wheel is heated as well let's go into the second and third row going into the second row there's a lot of room here and that's one of the things that's a massive positive for the cx-9 there are pockets behind both of the front seats in addition you get your own climate control that is called a three zone climate control and you have three stage heated seats here in the center console as well as two cup holders and then more storage and more charging ports the kids are going to love this. Now remember these captain's chairs are available on the higher trim levels. So if you're buying the lower trim level, you're going to get the bench seat. So you're gonna lose this center console. Now in front of you, you've got your automatic climate control, heated, cool, that's adjustable as well. And there's more ventilation and charge ports. To get to the third row, you lift the lever on the second row captain's chair. Getting into the third row is pretty much relegated to children. It is very tight if this seat comes fully back. I'll slide over and when this seat goes fully back to where it was, 
there really isn't much room. I'm 5'8 in all legs. So I'm gonna sit in the middle here in order to give you some sort of evaluation. There's cup holders on both sides and additional storage for snacks. 2.5 amp USB ports on both sides. There's no storage behind the seats, but this is perfectly fine for two people. Certainly not three. There are child safety seat attachments in the second row with plenty of room for rear facing child safety seats. When you're looking at the price of the CX-9, it starts at about $35,000. You don't get all the goodies, but you do get all wheel drive. And that puts us in a really sweet spot because when you maximize it up and you put the top trim level on with the 20 inch wheels and all the accessories such as the navigation and all the safety features, including the around view camera, your vehicle can come in as high as $47,300. Now, there may be some incentives available depending upon when you're watching this video, but that is a really good price for this vehicle vehicle and what you're getting for your money. It's important to also check with your insurance company before you make a decision because there are pros and cons with every vehicle and part of that is what it costs to replace these vehicles if something goes wrong and the Mazda is pretty reasonably priced so the insurance rates may be lower than its competitors. It's really important to do that before you sign on the bottom line. There are some pros and cons. I'm disappointed that you can't touch the screen in the center. I know that's one of Mazda's things. They like you to use the dial. If that doesn't bother you then that should be totally fine and you have to go through a few different layers to get to certain features on your settings and that I find a little bit on the frustrating side. On the pro side, it's all-wheel drive. It comes with a ton of great features including integration, although the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto are not wireless. And again, that's something you're going to be starting to see in vehicles in the future. There are a lot of changes coming from Mazda. They're looking at creating an electric vehicle, which they've just put out, and some new models as well. Now, I didn't cover every single detail on this vehicle, and I'm sure you have additional questions. Put those in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them and get some answers for you because I think you really need to know what's going on before you buy one. Now, if you're gonna buy a CX-9, you bought one, put that in the comments below. Let us know how you like it. If you bought something else, why did you buy that? A lot of times people like to go back and see what they, making sure they didn't have buyer's remorse. We don't want you to have that. We want you to have car smarts. You can find more information on my book, our podcast, as well as our website, Car Coach Reports. That's listed in the description down below. I'm on all social media, at Lauren Fix. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.